gastroesophageal cancers are prevalent you know, diseases, nearly a million people a year you know, get the disease. And unfortunately, patients with metastatic disease still die within a year, typically. Um, onatuzumab is an inhibitor of the MET pathway. And MET was shown to be overexpressed in gastric cancers. And there are even some families that have a MET amplification that leads to the disease. So not only does it cause the disease, but it actually can be overexpressed. And when it is overexpressed, it can lead to more aggressive cancer. So um, this was a study that looked at chemotherapy, full FOX, um, with or without a MET inhibitor uh, to see if we could overcome uh, any you know, MET amplification or MET um, uh, sort of dri driven tumors. Um, so 20% of patients have MET overexpression. And the primary study endpoint was to look at progression-free survival in patients who are unselected for MET overexpression, as well as in uh, the smaller group of patients who were MET overexpressing. Um, unfortunately, the results showed that the addition of ornituzumab to chemotherapy didn't improve progression-free survival or overall survival in either the intent-to-treat population, you know, un unselected patients, or in the selected MET uh, overexpressing group. And really, the main thing that we learned from here is um, you know, maybe we're not able to select patients who are, uh, who have tumors that are MET driven. Um, we might really only um, see a benefit with MET inhibition if uh, we can really find those few tumors that are MET driven. The, you know, as we did the study, we learned more about the biology of the disease as well. There's a lot of redundant pathways. EGFR and HER2 are, can be overexpressed even in MET amplified tumors or MET overexpressing tumors. And, and that may lead to why a MET inhibitor may not work.